what are you talking about set up for the 45 and yeah, I thought I'd cover that just in a video just sitting here um, the setup's exactly the same um, and all the videos you see of like Nick Faldo, Justin Thomas people doing the halfway back drill where you put the club you're standing and they put the club behind them and on the halfway position they want the club parallel to the one on the ground right try it for yourself so if you go there with your hands and turn yeah you're in that position right so the 45 really is just a blend of the 45 up here with the turn which gets you in the perfect position that all the pros want to be in it's more instinctive doing it um, our way because it, it, it eliminates this whole process of like positions in the golf swing because you're automatically hitting them try it for yourself Nick Faldo um, for years swore by that halfway back parallel on the ground with a shaft but when you do that with a turn hey presto you're in that position so for years Either golf coaching has just chosen to completely ignore the 45 throw with the turn um, or they've known about it but chosen to separate it because they have felt that you and me and uh, the rest of the world couldn't uh, cope with the simplicity of it. But it really is that simple. Now, obviously, um, just my t-shirt here. Obviously, um, the hard part is not the throw up on the forty-five. That's the easy part. The part that you've got to get your head around is at that exact moment that you are going up here. You are turning. Now. The reason I mentioned in comments that Rory McIlroy is absolutely one of the best people to watch because he fully understands this move. And if you watch his swing, his hands are never, ever anywhere but what you would term outside the path line. But that's not correct. It just it's that optical illusion again. When you do this move... It looks like your hands are out here till this blended turn brings everything on plane. And uh, that really is the optical illusion or secret of this. Um, the setup's the same. We're not reinventing the wheel. All we're doing is giving you a target from the ball. Your hands are going to go up here, right? On the 45 with a turn so you're doing just two things <clears throat> your hands only do that nothing else there's there's none of this <clears throat> there's none of that <coughs> oh excuse me it's just that with the turn so it does simplify your golf swing um, to the point where you can, with a little help from a video camera, work on your own swing. Now, we go back the way to the fundamentals. You must be aligned correctly and know your aim point. Set the club down first, aim it at the target, and then set everything else parallel to the club face okay easiest way to do it set the club down first then aim everything on this side parallel to that club face and that's you um, you do it for every shot um, wedge is right the way through to driver um, and like I say if you slow Rory McElroy's driver swing down 
super, super slow. Uh, find a slow motion video of Rory on YouTube and hit the gear button up the top and hit playback speed and put it as slow as possible and you'll see Rory doing it. Um, it's absolute genius when you see it. It just reaffirms everything that we've been talking about. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully, you know, this um, will help you look up videos from other people like Nick Faldo, Justin Thomas, and then you can see, aha, uh -huh, that's what they're doing. They just aren't aware that they're doing that, but they've got checkpoints built in, and those checkpoints are relevant to this. So it will help you. Uh, thanks for watching.